Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Mortal Kombat mobile character review. Today we are taking a closer look at Grandmaster Sub-Zero. We will go through all of his basic attacks, his special attacks, his x-ray, his passive and everything else he brings to MK Mobile. Grandmaster Sub-Zero is part of the martial artist class and his passive is called Ice Decoy. Sub-Zero replaces himself with a decoy, evading a death blow. Grandmaster Sub-Zero is one of the basic gold characters and has been in the game since its launch, which dates his release technically back to April 7, 2015. Also, his passive stayed pretty much the exact same. The only difference is that the wording is a little bit different by stating Sub-Zero replaces himself with a decoy, evading a fatal blow. And now since we have fatal blows in the game, the death blow is the new phrasing. In the old store, Grandmaster Sub-Zero was available for 330 souls. Over the years he has been available in many many packs and to not make this segment too long I'm just showing you a few of those. You could call it the essentials. In the new store Grandmaster Sub-Zero is available for 250 souls. Back in the day he was maxed out with level 50 and fusion 7. But as the level cap was raised with update 1.18, he now is maxed out with level 60 and Fusion X. Sub-Zero's gear piece are the Ice Daggers and they give you 50% basic attack damage boost, 50% chance to convert 50% damage to health on special attack 2, which is for Sub-Zero characters only, and 50% critical hit chance boost against enemies affected by freeze. For his feats of strength he will have to perform 3000 combo enders to unlock his rune. For his victory stances he will have to win 750 matches in faction wars. For his taunts he has to perform 1500 special 2 attacks. For his icons he has to knock out 500 scorpion enemies. For his backgrounds he has to win 500 matches in battle mode. And for his titles he has to perform 2000 special 1 attacks. And now we are going to take a closer look at the victory stances one by one starting with victory. Next one is warming up. Third would be Lin Kuei Respect. And exclusive for Grandmaster Sub-Zero only, Classic. And on your victory screen it will look like this. Now I'm going to show you all of his backgrounds.
Next up we have the icons. And finally the titles. Grandmaster Sub-Zero has two kinds of combo enders. The first one consists of two punches, one kick and then a knockdown. His second combo ender consists of five punches, pushing the opponent slightly back making it ideal for follow-up attacks and both special attacks will connect after this one. His special one attack is called the Ice Ball and it has a freeze debuff tied to it. And even though there is no DOT effect or anything, you will have the time to follow up with basic attacks, a special attack, tag out safely and you also can knock out your opponent. His special two attack is called Clone Toss and there is no buff or debuff tied to it, it simply deals damage. Sub-Zero throws a frozen copy of himself at the opponent and this attack is also capable of knocking out your opponent. Sub-Zero's X-Ray is called Deep Freeze and it has a shield buff tied to it. Once the shield is activated incoming damage will be significantly reduced making it a very useful tool in his arsenal. Thanks to his passive, Grandmaster Sub-Zero is not that easy to be knocked out. He can even take an X-Ray or Fatal Blow and unless he has a death mark, he will just come back with 25% of his maximum health, giving you great options for strategy gameplay. Now it's time to recommend some gear again and this time we are going very tower heavy, starting off with the Frost Orb, which especially makes a lot of sense for Grandmaster Sub-Zero, since he already comes back once with the Ice Decoy and with the Frost Orb he has that chance basically twice, so that is a lot of fun to use this piece of gear on him and it even works on Fusion Zero. The next choice would be the Cryomancer armor and with this one you will start out encased in an ice shield which makes him then ideal to open the match if you desire to do that. But there is of course a limit to the ice shield and it will break after a few seconds. But even then you still have the chance to reflect damage back if you just have that armor on Sub-Zero, so that is also quite useful. The third choice comes from the Cold War Tower and that would be the Deadly Icicles, giving you, when maxed out, 100% chance to apply Frostbite on special attack to use, so even Grandmaster Sub-Zero would be able to inflict Frostbite on his opponents, which is a very nice touch if you play him more special 2 centered. My fourth choice are Kwai Liang's Bracers, giving you a chance to freeze your opponent when he's blocking just with basic attacks, which is incredibly useful and so much fun if used on Sub-Zero. Unfortunately, the percentage is not very high, it's only 20%, but if it works, it's worth it every time. 
And the winner in my book and the best gear piece for Grandmaster Sub-Zero is Kwai Liang Scepter, simply because you deal a lot of damage if you attack frozen opponents, so even if you are playing with a special 2, just use a special 1 to freeze your opponent and follow up with another one and that second ice ball will deal a lot of damage if you have Kwai Liang Scepter on. And now moving on to my personal favorite loadout for Grandmaster Sub-Zero and here we have Kwai Liang Scepter, the Cryomancer Armor and Kwai Liang's Bracers. I know the Scepter and the Bracers technically would be his brutality equipment, unfortunately that's not available for gold cards, but still the damage is the thing that counts in that moment, so freeze your opponent with Kwai Liang's Bracers and then just blast them with an ice ball and just take them out of the match. The next we have the character recommendations and here my first choice would go to Warlock Quan Chi. He also brings you back from the dead in case you get KO'd and of course in this case you will not have anything related to ice or something but it's just another option to come back into the match and using the ice decoy for example together with the frost orb and warlock Quan Chi makes him come back three times but that should be something worth as well then the second choice that i would go for would be cryomancer sub-zero boosting then the health of martial artist characters which of course applies to grandmaster sub-zero as well then third we have Ninjutsu Scorpion and he would also take the supporter role boosting your attack of martial artist characters once again applies to Grandmaster Sub-Zero. Then number four would be a bar of power thanks to Shaolin Kung Jin. With this guy you can directly start with one bar of power. And of course, if you are using the Bloody Tomahawk, the Wrath Hammer or Kwai Liang Scepter, the bars of power would be additional then to that. And while we are speaking of bars of power, then let's go for the winner. And here we have Hellspawn Scorpion letting martial artists start with one and a half bars of power from the get-go. So that is very, very worthy, especially if you play with a focus on special two for Grandmaster Sub-Zero, because this way you will reach that special two basically in no time and can literally obliterate your opponent. Grandmaster Sub-Zero may be only a basic gold available for 150 souls in the gold pack, but to be absolutely honest, he doesn't feel that way, especially with that strong special 2. He deals some solid damage, especially compared to other basic gold characters. The freeze is super useful when it comes to trapping your opponents and as I already mentioned in this review earlier, you can safely tag out two other characters who already are waiting with power on the outside or you just follow up with other attacks. Then of course you have this amazing passive that literally lets you take, for example, an X-Ray, so you could sacrifice your Sub-Zero without actually sacrificing them, because he will just come back, granted his health will be significantly diminished, but at least you are still able to attack your opponents and maybe even turn around a match that you would have maybe lost without a character to absorb that massive incoming damage, but thanks to Grandmaster Sub-Zero you kind of get a second chance. His basic attacks are solid, his design is absolutely okay, so without a doubt two thumbs up from my side. Then let's go into the pros and cons quickly and my first pro are the solid basic attacks. If you time it right, you can just keep that chain going and maybe even when you use a good block breaker such as the bladed fan, the revolvers, uh, Sento blade, 
the rusty chainsaw, you name it, you should have absolutely no issues when playing Grandmaster Sub-Zero. Which brings me now to the second pro, and that is of course the freeze on special one. As I already mentioned, you can follow up with basic attacks, with special attacks, you can tag out, you literally can keep your opponent trapped. Uh, the only negative might be if the opponent would be um, resisting that freeze, because then it's kind of you gotta find a plan B. But if that freeze works, then you always have the upper hand. Then the third pro and probably the main reason why many players even play him is of course the passive with the ice decoy giving you the option to absorb high damage attacks without letting your Grandmaster Sub-Zero die. As I also already mentioned, unless he has the Death Mark, which is now one of the newer talents that we even have in the Talent Tree segment. So watch out for that. If you have the Death Mark, then Sub-Zero will not come back. But if not, then you always get a second chance. Moving on to the negatives, and here I don't have much to say. I find his movements appear a little bit stiff, especially when it comes to the look of his basic attacks, which doesn't mean that they are not effective, they just look a little awkward at times. But this is just a minor point and by no means a deal breaker or anything. Then my second negative would be that there is absolutely no buff or debuff tied to his special 2. It would have been nice to give him a little something, maybe even just a strengthen buff or something like that, but just going with absolutely nothing, it's a bit boring, so you really have to rely on dealing enough damage to maybe take out your opponent or at least deal enough damage so you can take him out with somebody else. But once again, another minor issue. Then third, I would mention that he's a little bit vulnerable after his ice decoy. So what I mean with that is the moment when he comes back, then he is a little bit open for attacks by your opponent and you can pretty much uh, see that when you play him yourself, you literally wait for him to come back just to start your string the moment he lands on the floor. And of course the AI will also take advantage of that part. So despite you coming back with a little bit of extra health, you might just get knocked down again just because the AI is just waiting for that little window to attack you. Now that all being said, it's time to rate the Grandmaster Sub-Zero variation and just in the realm of basic goals, I have to give him a 9 out of 10. He is definitely one of the best basic goals we have in the game right now. He is a solid fighter, he is fun to play, he is a very useful asset in any team that you might play in Faction Wars. Granted, maybe not that great in higher tower battles, but which basic gold is that aside from Covered Ops Cassie Cage? Let's be honest here. So just from the basic golds, he is definitely one of the really good ones. And yeah, that was my review for Grandmaster Sub-Zero. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And it was about time to take on this card. After all, he has been requested by several of you over the last few months. So I'm pretty happy to finally be able to provide you with this review. And I hope that you are satisfied with the result. Aside from that, thanks for stopping by on the channel once again and see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in once again. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. In case you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice just to make sure. And if you want to support the channel a little further, please consider joining the Patreon family of KC Mobile Gaming. You can already do that with as little as just $1 a month.
And also follow me on social media like Twitter and Facebook. You will find all the necessary information in the description below of every video. If you want to see more content, then why don't you just click on one of those two videos here. Thank you for your support. Have a good one. Casey over and out for today.